my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus today it is the sixth Sunday in ordinary time we read from the gospel of Luke chapter 6 verses 17 and 20 to 26 we read as follows blessed are you that weep now for you shall laugh blessed are you when men hate you and when they exclude you and revile you and cast out your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven, for so their fathers did to the prophets. My dear brothers and sisters, the message is clear. Persecution on account of Jesus is a blessing. The history of the church proves that it has always been a constant challenge. There are martyrs in every country in every century and in every culture. From apostles' times up until today, the enemy has been and still is furious, attacking the church of Jesus Christ with all his might. But when Christians die, Christianity revives, and because of that, we feel blessed. My dear brothers and sisters, Father, Father Rahid Ghani was an Iraqi priest born in 1972 in a town in the plain of Nineveh. He studied theology in Rome between 1996 and 2003, and after which he decided to return to Iraq despite the war and persecution of Christians there. As soon as he arrived at his new parish in Mosul, he started receiving all sorts of threats. His church was blown up. His house was blown up. He had to say mass in the basement, but he continued on. Attacks persisted until the day of his death, June 3, 2007, when a group of armed men confronted him after the Mass. They asked him why he was still there and why he had not closed the church as they had demanded. How can I close the house of God, he responded, right before they shot and killed him. Rahid was just 35 years old. The church grows with the blood of martyrs and martyrs bled the blood of Christ they receive in the Eucharist. For Rahid once wrote, there are days when I feel frail and full of fear, but when holding the Eucharist, I say, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. I feel His strength in me when I hold the host in my hands. It is really He who is holding me and all of us, challenging the terrorist and keeping us all united in His boundless love. My dear brothers and sisters, let us pray today to our mother Mary, the mother of persecuted church, to help all those who suffer persecution for the sake of her son, that they feel blessed, that they rejoice and leap for joy, for behold, thy reward is great in heaven. May God be glorified in all our actions, amen.